everybody. Thanks for joining me today on my channel. My name is Chris with Kristen's Crafts and today I am bringing you the 10th process video for the Confessions of a Paper Addict 20 Days of Cut Files. We're halfway through so it's kind of exciting. Today's prompt is a white background so I'm kind of sort of cheating kind of maybe a little. So I am using a white background but I'm putting it on a very very big uh, red plaid frame because I want it to match the bandanas on my grand dogs. I have a really hard time using white background. I am a paper pattern girl and I put pattern on top of pattern. So when I use plain white, um, I don't know, I get the shakes. <laughs> it just doesn't feel done. Now I could add mixed media and things like that, but right now I am working in the office this week and trying to do the layouts and yeah, it's it's just not going to happen. So anyway, I, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. And I think I was able to cover a lot of the white background up. And I think I still met the challenge by doing the white background. So I used this piece of cartabella that's in the plaid and cut out the frame. And I cut the white piece down to 10 by 10. So it is my background and it is white. And then I used the um, part that I cut out um, to uh, mat the photo. Now I'm using the Joyous Bobbles cut file from the um, Copa collection on Etsy. Love this one. It's just three cute ornaments that I just back with three different pattern papers and it, it just has such a great impact. And I like how the photos just kind of nestle into the ornaments. Now I'm just going to go ahead and use some of this photo play chipboard. It's one of the things that I pulled out in my um, how to kill a kit with style for this month and I haven't touched it yet so I thought it was high time to get it on some layouts. I'm going to pull out a whole bunch of pieces and then only end up using one. But hey, one is better than none. So I am going to end up using that Merry Christmas in the end. Um, I end up um, taking out the um, Echo Park, um, actually it's Cartabella um, sticker book as well. And I'm going to be using this one to pretty much decorate. But again, I was kind of feeling that white was just kind of hanging there. So I took my black Sharpie to kind of do a doodly border around the edge. And that kind of finished off that little bit of an edge. And now I'm just going to go in and see what stickers I can find. And one of the things I found that I really liked was these white white poinsettias. I thought that I was still abiding by the white background um, prompt. And so with having the white flowers on the white background, I kind of thought it brought that lighter look to the page versus all the pattern and colors that I normally do. The next thing I'm going to find is this Christmas tree. Now, for whatever reason, um, I think when they were manufactured, they just didn't score deep enough in the um, the chipboard, or it's actually cardstock stickers. So you just kind of have to help it along a little bit. I ended up cutting it off the actual book and then kind of played with it a little bit, was able to get all the pieces off in the end. I just didn't want to ruin the sticker by, you know, kind of forcing it, so... Patience works. I was going to put it up with the photo, but I felt like it was all kind of um, kind of containing it or clustering in. It was kind of getting almost claustrophobic around the photo. So by pulling it out and putting it on the outside, it kind of opened that layout up and kept the embellishments from overwhelming the photo. Um, I took a journaling um tag that was in the book and I only cut off one end and I used that like a tab at the top of the photo and put the sticker merry and bright and then I am going to glue down the merry christmas the last thing I'm going to do is just write um, Bear and Lucy's name and the year and that's going to be it I kept it very simple clean I like how it turned out um, if you wanted you could add some you know, um, splatters or things like that. But I kept with a very clean background and the look. And I'm actually pleased with how it turned out considering um, I'm half asleep. <laughs> anyway, make sure you check out the Confessions of a Paper Attic Facebook group and we will see you tomorrow for prompt number 11.